There's other ways you can defend yourself with light. For example, this shrimp releases its bioluminescent chemicals into the water just the way a squid or an octopus would release an ink cloud. This blinds or distracts the predator. This little squid is called the fire shooter because of its ability to do this. Now, it may look like a tasty morsel or a pig's head with wings, <laughs> but if it's attacked, it puts out a barrage of light, in fact, a barrage of photon torpedoes. I just barely got the lights out in time for you to be able to see those gobs of light hitting the transect screen and then just glowing. It's phenomenal. So there's a lot of animals in the open ocean, most of them, that make light, and we have a pretty good idea for most of them why. They use it for finding food, for attracting mates, for defending against predators. There are things like this. This is a golden coral, a bush. It grows very slowly. In fact, it's thought that some of these are as much as 3,000 years old, which is one reason that bottom trawling should not be allowed. The other reason is this amazing bush glows. So if you brush up against it, any place you brushed against it, you get this twinkling blue-green light that's just breathtaking. These are flytrap anemones. Now, if you poke it, it pulls in its tentacles, but if you keep poking it, it starts to produce light. And it actually ends up looking like a galaxy. It produces these strings of light, presumably as some form of defense. There are starfish that can make light, and there are brittle stars that produce bands of light that dance along their arms. This looks like a plant, but it's actually an animal, and it anchors itself in the sand by blowing up a balloon on the end of its stalk. So it can actually hold itself in very strong currents, as you see here. But if we collect it very gently and we bring it up into the lab, and then just squeeze it at the base of the stalk, it produces this light that propagates from the stem to the plume, changing color as it goes from green to blue. Colorization and sound effects added for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> but we have no idea why it does that. Here's another one. This is also a sea pen. It's got a brittle star hitching a ride. It's a green saber of light. And like the one you just saw, it can produce these as bands of light. So if I squeeze the base, the bands go from base to tip. If I squeeze the tip, they go from tip to base. So what do you think happens if you squeeze it in the middle? <laughs> I'd be very interested in your theories about what that's about. <laughs>